Happy Friday, and welcome into the PHNX Sun Devil Show. I'm Anthony Teltry, joined, as always, by Shane Diefenbach. Yeah, I am. How you doing, Deef? It's I'm Friday. Be- I'm beefy today. You're beefy? Uh-huh. Love when you're beefy. Uh-huh. It's great. I think it's great for the company yeah. when you're beefy, to be My, honest. My uh, tooth update, mm. there's something growing out of my bottom of the gums. Your bottom gums? So I'm going to have to go back in to the dentist on Monday. What's growing? Do you have any idea? It's probably a bone spur, but it really hurts. But it only hurts when I open my mouth wide, so don't make me laugh or yawn. Actually, I can laugh. Can't yawn, though? Can't yawn, can't scream, can't show that I have the smallest mouth of pH next. All right, no, wait. But screaming without opening your mouth is one of the most terrifying, or without like changing your facial expressions, one of the most terrifying things ever. Screaming, it's one of the best things ever. Screaming without changing the. Yeah, like well, screaming without looking like, like you're screaming. <laughs> Oh, I didn't like that. Yeah. At all. Exactly, it's unsettling. Yeah, that was that was. How terrifying. are you doing, Chet? Happy Friday. Yeah, happy Friday. Uh, it's a great day. JJ in the chat. ASU men's basketball headed to Europe. Glad they set it up. Feel like the program hasn't done something like this for a while. Good experience for the group. JJ, do, like, what do you know? Do, 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 I feel like JJ do just. They, well, they might have just announced. It. JJ they knows did. all. They're going to uh, France. Athens and another mm. place in Greece, I believe. Mm. Um, it's been a minute since they did a Europe trip like this. Yeah, so they, I think they, have they did years. it a while back, um, but they haven't done, I mean, a Europe trip like that in quite some time. Um, JJ, also condolences the, to Shane's teeth. Uh, the Ellie Ziegler tour, the foreign tour, uh, July 24th through August 2nd, Paris, Athens, Mykonos. That's electric. You think we could get solid to send us Dude, that? that graphic goes crazy. That, that graphic does go crazy. Oh my gosh. Jemaya is on that graphic, Gaffney's on that graphic, and Frankie is mm. on that graphic for everybody wondering. Joe in the chat. Let's get Sean in the bubble. Oh, so Yeah, if you didn't know, the one, the one, uh, Eric the Pause is Whoa. behind the He's in my full today. fucking government? Yeah, oh, what are we doing? Since you're not on this show anymore. I That's mean, crazy. You can't even start using goes. the government like that. A um, couple things you want to get into. San Diego State. Big news. Big news. Not... Not in stone yet, but Pete Thamel tweeted this out earlier today. Sources, San Diego State gave the Mountain West written notice this week that the school, quote, intends to resign from the Mountain West Conference. SDSU asked the Mountain West for a, quote, one-month extension given unforeseen delays involving other collegiate athletic conferences beyond our control. (laughs) So, SDSU waving goodbye to the Mountain West. Um, asking for a one-month extension, obviously, unless something goes haywire toward the end of the month. Uh, but they still do not have an invitation from the Pac-12. Well, yeah, so the the reason why they're asking for an extension is obviously their fee to leave the conference doubles at the end of the month. Um, and you don't know, nobody knows, everyone's been saying two weeks for a while, but nobody knows if the TV deal is going to get done and they're not going to invite SDSU to the Pac-12 unless a TV deal gets done. Mm-hmm. Um so those the that's that's where the tiptoeing is. Um, they haven't received an invite yet, obviously, officially, but it's kind of been speculated for the last year and a half that they would be the team to join the Pac-12 if the Pac-12 brought anybody in after the TV deal. TV mm-hmm. deal's approaching. Sounds like it's going to happen here soon, but it also sounds like SDSU might have gotten information that it's not going to happen before their extension deadline hits, and that's why this news is breaking today. So we might not have a resolution in the Pac-12 media rights deal, until July, which is hilarious, but not that funny. Um, not that funny if you're in the Pac-12. Uh-uh. Funny if you're on the outside. Yeah, so hopefully they can get it done and the extension doesn't matter, but the extension is definitely a failsafe to what could happen and what we've been thinking about. And we're all preparing f- to watch ASU football play right after Bean Girls on CW. <laughs> that's tough. That's tough. Great no, it's not. That's awesome. I was about to say, it's a great movie. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't fuck with the CW, but... Mean Girls goes crazy in the movie. Um, what oh. do you think about San Diego State? Obviously, the intention is and the expectation is that this is all toward a, an eventual move to the to the Pac-12. Um, it's like you said, it's been the team pretty much since the LA schools left, and there's been any sort of talk of adding a team or a program. SDSU has usually been the first one. Obviously, we know what they were able to do in the NCAA tournament. Football over the last handful of seasons. Um, has definitely improved, uh, and baseball is what it is as well. Um, just what do you think about the geography? Potential? Geography, geography, yay! Woo! It makes sense. I love it so much. Shout out to at Chad Nine Smith and on Twitter. 
he was in my comments today. Um, I quote tweeted the Thamel tweet with just here we go. And he said, if ASU stays in the Pac-12, here's my hopeful thing. And it's very hopeful. Okay. Um, the conference would add Tulane, SDSU, SMU, Memphis, UNLV, and Boise State. We're after adding add, six, six yes, schools. After you have those, you'd have four pods because there are con- conferences are are usually 16 teams when they get to their in, – in it now, like we're seeing, you know, the Big 12 and the Big 10, whatever. Um, there would have be, be four pods. And geo- geographically, I've never felt warmer inside. Uh, yeah. Wazoo, Washington, Oregon, Oregon State, one pod. Stanford, Cal, Boise State, Utah. ASU, U of A, SDSU, UNLV, Colorado, Tulane, SMU, and Memphis. What's the Utah pod? Uh, it's like NorCal. It's NorCal and Boise State, and then Utah. So Utah is just going to run that pod, pretty much? Uh, in football? In, <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Not unless that, unless yeah. Kellen Moore comes back and <laughs> Statue of Liberty is this bitch. Hey, no, he's busy. He's busy. Dude, that's the most underrated high, coaching hire of the offseason. I'm so excited. Joe Lombardi, you are a in a retirement Bron- home. Uh, he's a Denver Bronco. Oh, really? Yeah, which is even awesome. It's the, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Planet Chat, Big 12 will spin it. SCSU back to Phil CU or SU Joe to st- Big Twelve. Stop it. Joe's like the ADHD kid in your in your class. <laughs> that you're, he's like picking his nose and flinging it on kids. You're trying to teach them the Pythagorean theorem. He's like, and if, for those listening on audio, he commented, "Should we get a structure convo going in the chat? Best arches." Um, he also started the best pyramids conversation. St. <laughs> Louis, <laughs> McDonald's. What are, what is? I mean, the best arches are. No, there. no, it's, no. We can do this at the end of the show. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's fine, stay. Fine, let's fine. stay on topic. I'm uh, trying, I'm JJ trying says, "My money on the meteorite seal is with." TV. I mean, that would be incredible. That would be, I think, better than anything that they could fathom now. So ESPN is out. Amazon is out, correct? And Fox is out. And Fox is out. And obviously ESPN is out because it's where they jump ship from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apple TV. is they had, YouTube TV pulled out too, right? Um, Let me double that, check on that. I mean, that is, that's the number one, in my opinion. Is YouTube TV? Uh-huh. Why? Why? What makes because, that Because one? that's where... Every, that's where everything is kind of changing and turning. Um, I think we're in a weird middle ground where you don't know if you should subscribe to cable still or get a bunch of streaming services because nothing is bundled. Um, and YouTube TV is the closest thing to a bundled network. It's all streaming, but I don't think anybody has Wi-Fi good enough to stream on their TV all the time. So yeah, I mean, in a gray there's, area. there's not a whole lot. Uh, everything I see is Amazon is unlikely. But, CBS is a no. NBC USA, no. Fox is a no. Um, but nothing with YouTube TV. The Pac-12 has said they do not want to do an all-digital deal, and it looks like that's hmm. Apple's strategy. So that leaves the CW scripts and those types of people. Welcome to Mean Girls, brought to you by Jalen Conyers. Just, I just, I, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Uh, San Diego State. I want to get more in, into them and what they bring to the conference. We've obviously got a, a look at the comparison, what they brought in this past season in terms of revenue in comparison to UCLA and USC. But before we do that, uh, which in terms of which sport do you think it makes the, the, the biggest difference when you add a program like SCSU? Like, do you, is it the, is it basketball? Is it football? Is it baseball? What gets the biggest bump? Do you think? Well, they just got a new arena in football or a stadium in football, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Or they renovate. Uh, no, I, I believe it's a new a arena. New one. Um, so that definitely helps. Uh, but you, you, like you're not getting a bump anywhere. It's it's mitigating the drop off of the Southern California schools, and you're getting a Southern California team, which yeah. I think is huge. Um, I know I talk about geography like it's my baby, but it's like seriously, it's 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 big in terms of revenue and uh, well, first of all, it's huge in terms of um, margins. Like you're not you don't have to travel that far. Yeah. Like, like distance margins and or, or ge- geographical margins and financial margins. Like you're not having to spend as much money and it just makes damn sense. Uh, to answer your question, I would probably say football. Uh, but because I mean, I guess, I guess you're tar- probably taking the smaller step from U- USC and UCLA to, eh, I don't know. They're both kind of even. It's just good to grit, grab a school. And again, yeah. this isn't done, but it's pretty close. So yeah, and SCSU is not a pushover school by any means. You're like, not. Yeah, you're not grabbing like Alcorn State. Whoa, what's your beef with Alcorn State? They think they're ASU, and they're not. Uh, ASU. No, they think they're ASU. Uh-huh. Um, JJ in the chat doesn't replace UCLA, USC, but adding SCSU would be huge for hoops in the conference. 
Uh, yeah, I absolutely agree. I think there's still a long ways to go, especially considering you are losing the best team in the conference in Let's terms of... Hold the brakes, JJ. On what? Let's not call SDSU a championship team. They got to the championship. They are... They're, they're, not, a cha- they're, not, they're not going back there. You don't know that. Yes, I do. How do you know that? Because Matt Bradley has, has to be out, out of eligibility. You would have said that about Butler after the first time they got to the... Yeah, final. I would have. <laughs> um, they're not a USC and they're not a UCLA. No. But it's certainly, like you said, it, it, it mitigates the drop-off that you uh-huh. get when you lose those two Do they schools. bring that sweet, sweet revenue to the pack, though? And there isn't sweet... From the, from the, from the championship? Do, no. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, absolutely. And it's we're we'll getting into it in a little bit. In terms of revenue, it's what SDSU made last year isn't nearly <laughs> what you might expect. Uh, before we do that, I do want to let y'all know that Arizona State is 10-2-1 in football against SDSU. Just wanted to, to make that known. Rashad Rashad Penny. Rashad Penny did have something to say Mm -hmm. uh, in one of those games, the 30 20 game in 2018, I believe. You know what else is awesome for SDSU? Hmm. Uh, The fans. Yeah, that's true. It's awesome. The the travelability is so easy, and you get to go to San Diego. Yeah. My grandpa went to SDSU, and my goodness, he lets everybody know anytime he gets the chance that he went to SDSU. Go Tex. Well, I don't think they say that. I don't think they say that, I don't think they say that at all. It's just go SDSU. Uh, no, guys. Don't say go SDSU. Yeah, go yeah. Tex goes crazy. Go, te- go, go Tex. Tex go Tex. Crazy. Hey, go Tex. Go. <laughs> Is there an accent? Always? Yeah. Even though you're in Southern California, go Tex. Mm. Okay, guys. I uh, want to let you guys know a little bit about... Hail Montezuma. About Four Peaks. <laughs> That's what okay. the alma mater starts Four with. Peaks. If you're looking for something to drink this weekend, look no further. Four Peaks has you covered, guys. Whether that be with a peach ale, a wow, a hazy kilt lifter, they got it all over at Four Peaks. And they're doing some awesome, awesome stuff for teachers. I know they're giving back. Um, kids are back at home for summer, obviously. So let's thank a teacher. Four Peaks is doing their part by giving away school supplies to teachers around the valley. And to thank a teacher, guys, go to fourpeaksforteachers.org and complete the form to enter their chance to win. Nominations due June 30th. Again, check out at Four Peaks Brew or at Four Peaks Pub to keep up with the latest at Arizona's hometown brewery. You do got to be 21 or older to drink Four Peaks. Please drink responsibly. Yeah, San Diego State coming for multiple sports uh, would be huge, and their baseball program is what it is, but you can swing for the fences every single day with BetMGM. Mm-hmm. Right now, you can just open the app, log in, click on the promotions tab, and voila, Money. you just got to swing for the fences. You can get up to a X amount free bet a day, a an insurance boost, whatever, with BetMGM Swing for Offense. You can play it all the way through the MLB season. If you haven't signed up for BetMGM yet, use that bonus code PHNX. There's a few different offers depending on where you live. But for our Arizona audience, you'll get up to $100 in bonus bets on your first wager. With BetMGM, again, just make sure you use that bonus code PHNX. Check out show notes for full details. And now listen to me talk about the disclaimer. Disclaimer, 21 plus to wager. Visit BetMGM.com for terms and conditions. U.S. promotional offers not available in Washington, D.C., Mississippi, Nevada, New York, and Ontario. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Colorado, D.C., Illinois, Indiana, Louisiana, Maryland, Mississippi, New Jersey, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, Wyoming. Call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369, New York. Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP-ARIZONA, 1-800-522-4700, Kansas, Nevada, 1-800-327-5050, Massachusetts, 1-800-BETS-OFF-IOWA, 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help, Michigan. I thought I was getting flamed for a second. Cougar Tail said, hi, Shane, you are one tough sob. And then goes, in an endearing term, respecting my toughness. You're going to finish it? To come, on, to come on the show when your teeth have been pulled. Totally respect the toughness. Yeah. I respect your you toughness. You know, I, I come in here and I, I piss excellence. that what you do? That's all I do. Wake up in the morning and I piss excellence. Yeah. God, I'm going to come at you like a spider monkey. <laughs> What's his name? I Chuck? don't remember what the kid's name is. No. What is it? Chip. I'm going to come at you like a spider <laughs> monkey, Chip. <laughs> yeah. Eight ounce, frail, baby Jesus. <laughs> Small. Like, why is he a baby? <laughs> baby. Uh, JJ asking the question that needs to be answered. Where would the Aztecs rank in pack mascots? Hi. Let's do it. Let's let's do this real quick. Whoa. Okay. This is, I mean, dude, this is something I have to think about. No, just off the rip. What do we got? Well, are we talking mascots or are we talking like team names and logos? Mascots. So like mascots. a physical mascot. Yeah. Sparky's number one. Sparky is one. Okay, I don't understand how people go from one to twelve on these. I usually go from twelve to one. That like it makes more sense. Well, because I'm not doing the whole list. We're just I'm gonna get until I get to SDSU. Okay. Puddles is Sparky. Two. Puddles is two. Mm-mm. Hard disagree. I chip not on the show. Chip? Puddles is two. Chip, chip is chip, a good one. Chip's cute, but he's not. His efficiency is just not there anymore. 
I would say his efficiency is there more than Puddles. Puddles is is on his downward. He's on his his back ears. Puddles has been doing this for way longer than yeah, but he's shit. on he's on his back end. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He is. Put you on your back end if you keep talking about Puddles like that. Fuck Puddles. Yeah, the tree's last. Yeah, the tree is absolutely last. Um, it's got to be. They're, they're it's t- top five. They're top six. They're definitely in the top six. Yeah, I I could live with that. I could absolutely live with that. <laughs> Bro fought tooth and tooth to be here. Yeah, you did. Look at you. You're so weird when it comes to touching you. Um, okay, let's talk about revenue for a little bit. Okay, uh, we've talked about trying to mitigate the loss of UCLA and USC. When you look at the revenue of these programs individually, and you look at the revenue um, as a whole, <laughs> you're you're not really making up <laughs> what UCLA and USC brought to the table. Uh, but it it is interesting just to take a look at some of these numbers versus the other programs, right? So starting off with USC, why is no team making money anymore? Why is no team making money anymore? They just aren't. That's no. just I don't know what to tell oh, you. Oh, and just, I know why because. <laughs> We have the Pac-12 networks. <laughs> yeah. So USC, from a total revenue perspective, brought in 127 million 801,000. And how much did they spend? Uh, pretty much the same. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much the same. Uh, their baseball pro. Actually, we'll go into the programs individually in a little bit. UCLA total revenue was 119 million 391,000. Also, they spent about that same amount. Um, and then SCSU, their total revenue was fifty-eight million two hundred and fifty-eight thousand, so significantly less than those LA well, schools. They spent significantly less as well. They did. Yay. They did, and they also pretty much broke even. Uh, uh, looking at the baseball programs, this is where it gets interesting. USC baseball lost twenty-four thousand dollars last year. Okay, UCLA baseball lost two and a half million dollars last year. SGSU baseball, they made money. Yeah, they made three hundred and twenty-seven thousand five hundred and two dollars. That's enough to pay Randerson a year. <laughs> Actually, it's not. It's not. <laughs> but they made money. Um, this is where I mean the football numbers are just absolutely skewed and not in SGSU's favor. SGSU football lost about three point four million dollars last year. USC football made about seventeen million. Um, and UCLA football made about five million dollars. So obviously the revenue uh, swings in that direction. Obviously the football programs are far bigger at USC and UCLA than they are at SDSU, and a lot of that has to do with the market, LA versus San Diego. Um, but again, there's also the history between these two programs. Um, and then in terms of basketball, basketball for SDSU had a slight profit of about six hundred thousand dollars. USC basketball lost money, and then UCLA basketball lost about $2.5 million. Um, Joe in the chat, y'all see USC's facility investments that released yesterday. Boys getting paid by the Big Ten. Yeah. Look, this is, and again, this is a conference thing as well, right? You're going to get um, kind of just how the conference is. Like the SEC, the Big Ten, even the Big 12, um, they are going to ensure that their programs have the nicest facilities in the nation. And USC had pretty nice facilities in the first place. Obviously, Joe bringing it up, the Big Ten. Um, obviously, taking a look at, at some of the new facilities that USC is getting, um, it's it's just the nature of it, right? Like, ASU is not going to be – it's just what it is. Like, you, you've got the photos up there now. Like, those look pretty – that looks pretty ridiculous. Yeah, but, I mean, they were long overdue. USC is... Yeah, but you can make the argument that it, uh, almost every school could use we, new facilities. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, yeah. USC is, I don't know if you guys have been to USC, not a great area around the campus. No, it's like, horrible. at all. Um, and, you know, looking at their facilities from the outside when you're on the... Uh, I'm so bad with freeways there. Uh, it doesn't look great. Um, so this is long overdue. Uh, but yeah, I mean, of course, it's with a boost by the Big Ten. Um, but this was going to get done eventually anyway. One thing that I think people, and maybe this is just me assuming this, but I feel like there's a lot of misconception when people hear that you're going to try and add San Diego State, right? Or you're just going to add another Southern California school. Um, the, again, the market size between San Diego, which is in about, I want to say, 44 uh, in terms of media market value, 
versus LA, which is one or two. Yeah. Like there, it's a significant drop off in that market, and there's significantly more money in LA than there is San Diego. Again, I know it's just a few hour drive up the freeway, but like it is significant the amount of money that separates these schools um, just up and down that freeway. Mm -hmm. Joe in the chat, they just renovated the Coliseum a few years ago. Uh, yeah, again, this is your. We yeah, but I don't think they're doing anything with the the Coliseum. They're, no. they're building a three level football performance center. They're calling it. And um, we've been pretty clear that you add SCSU, you're not replacing. No, no, this is a band aid. That's way smaller than the wound. So we've talked about SCSU. Who would you like to see as the rest of the band aid? Yeah, Ooh. the gauze, <laughs> if you will. The gauze, if you will. That's such a great name for the teams joining the pack. The band aid and the gauze. No, like just the gauze. Like all four of them are. The guys together, a gauze. Mm. Um, let's see. Uh, I think Boise State. I don't like just out of a pure like. I, th I think the Mountain West is probably gonna lose somebody else. I don't know what's gonna happen in the Mountain West. This is such a weird like trickle down effect that like, I guess it's like a spitting up effect because you're throwing your <laughs> teams over. It's a spitting up I don't effect. Know. But like you know, the Big Twelve is like grabbing out of this water, and then the. The giant in the other water is grabbing down, and the pack ten, the pack twelve is like, oh shit! I just got stuff taken from me, and now I'm grabbing out of the Mountain West. What's the Mountain West going to grab from? The Mac? No, the Mac and the Mountain West. Are the same. Maybe they don't grab. Mm. There's got to be the Obvious. grabbing stops at some point. <laughs> okay, grab me. <laughs> is that what? Is that what the Mountain West is the doing claw. now? Claw, dude! I'm making that meme. The Big Ten and the Big Twelve and the Pack. If a pack ever actually adds teams, just like it's grabbing just, like mid majors. This is the Mountain West. Yeah. SDSU is just like the claw. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Not as awesome as Burrito Express, but it would be awesome. Guys, if you haven't been, Burrito Express, they got locations all over the valley. The food goes absolutely crazy. I'm still on the steak and salsa train. Maybe add some bacon. Another chorizo goes crazy. Jalen Conyers. He's a new BE athlete over there. So anytime you guys go to Burrito Express and you spend some money there, technically you're supporting Jalen Conyers and Arizona State athletes as well, guys. Check them out and give them a follow on social at Burrito EXP. Uh, and, and to think about more schools that can join the pack, take some OGs and just dream a little bit. Um, you know, maybe you can dream, dream, dream up. Dream, dream, dream. What's that from? That's from uh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Mm, yeah. uh, dream, it's seriously dream, never dream, been easier dream, to cross dream, off dream. Father's Day shopping off your list. You can check out OGs online at ogsbrands.com and on Instagram at ogsbrands. You can also find the products at the local dispensary. But you got to be 21 years or older to purchase. The pink lemonade's dropping June 21st. It's a vibe. Check them out online. Um, what about you? Who's your? Who would you want to join? Mm, that's tough. San Diego State was obviously my first choice. Um. <laughs> I, I is it a cop out to say Boise State? I think yeah. yeah, it is a cop out. Because mm -hmm. you asked me the question, and you don't. You're just taking my answer now. I'm not just taking your answer mm -hmm. though. Air Force, stop it. <laughs> Respect the troops. It's not gonna happen. Um, I don't know. Can I can I poach a school from another conference? That's what all of this is. What do you mean? Well, I thought you were talking like smaller schools. Well, what are you talking about? I want Texas Tech. Yeah. I think um, Texas Tech would be awesome. I think SMU is eventually going to come. Uh, you I think, think SMU is going to come? Yeah, I think those rumors are, have some legs. Uh, huh. JJ in the chat saying something from Brad Denny. SDSU football is a non-conference opponent for ASU in 2028 and 2029. Huh. Well, that might change. Yeah. I'm going to have to whoop. schedule LSU. Yeah, and Jaden Daniels brother-in-law they did his brother-in-law his sister's getting married uh -huh. <laughs> that's crazy um yeah i'm gonna go my 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 pipe dream is texas tech chat uh, drop your favorite dark horse ads i think texas tech would be an absolute phenomenal addition um from football the basketball the baseball it covers all the bases it's obviously a team coming from a giant conference in the big 12 um it probably won't happen i don't see the big 12 losing schools but if it were the case, I'd say Texas Tech. The more likely option is like what you said, SMU, um, or even a Boise State. I wouldn't mind Boise State coming over. Um, being able to play on those fields, I think, would be pretty Who cool. Who signs the letters 
of intent to leave conferences? Is it the school's president? Yeah, it's the president in the Board of Regents. It would just be funny if they just had a random guy do it. Just like a random person from we'll San Diego? I mean, I bet it's probably a lot of lawyers, but like, I mean, signing off on it. You know, That's like, got to be such a weird like conversation. Mr. San Diego. How do you draft that first email? Just be like, hey guys, I think we should meet about, um, about leaving. Mm. Like, I don't understand how that, like the ball really gets rolling on that. Like, I know there's rumors and shit, but is it like one day the president and the board of regents and the athletic director are just kind of like, hmm, maybe uh, we should actually do this. Maybe we should actually bounce. Give me UNM. You want the University of New Mexico? Yes. Do you have a reason why? Yes. They're close. You and geography. Hey, JJ. Right in time. You and geography, man. You're so obsessed with it. Said everybody to Christopher Columbus, and look what he did. He's a bad person. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> he's not the man you should be using for this argument whatsoever. <laughs> Is there anything else that you got in terms of uh, SDSU? Um, Feelings, well, concerns? We're going to have a lot to talk about on Monday because I'm questions. sure more things will happen on... Over the weekend? Yeah. Because things tend to happen over the weekend. Yeah. Well, you know what time it is? Uh, no. 2 30. It's 2 30. 2 30, dirty, dirty, 2 30, dirty. It's no, 2 30. Oh, that was good. That was good. I'm going to pick up on that. It's not for hot or not. Clint, wait, wait, wait. Clint. Oh. SDSU, SDSU, SMU, Tulane, Colorado State, Memphis, USF, or uh, Poaches. Or the Pack Poaches, uh, the Big 12, Iowa, Iowa State, State, OSU, Kansas State. TCU will be fun. What are, are we just trading with the Big 12 now? Well, who are we trading? We're not giving them anybody. Well, if Colorado and Arizona were to leave, that's the only way you would get six people in the conference. I don't think I don't think that's worth it. I don't think so either. If they can well, have Colorado. I mean, yeah. You see Dion might lose his foot. You see that? That's crazy. I'm not going to say nothing about it. I'm just like You just did. Well, I'm just going to let you know. Yeah, he might lose his foot. Crazy. Tough time to be Dion. Um, hot or not? You're such a hater. <laughs> Let's get You're making fun of somebody. Can I just? Say, I'm not making fun of him, dude. B- before I select this, I I I had to pick toe tree because I wasn't sure which one was me, and I didn't want to make it look like I was making myself. Huh? Uh-huh. Wow. Well, oh yeah, because they're both S's. Toe tree deserved it this week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's like a lot. Well, you can't because it already happened. So get fucked. No, I said you didn't deserve it. I do deserve it. Yeah, I said you did, and then I said, psych, I lied. Sean, for the first time, I think, in this program's history, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are behind the Mac. I am. For Hot or Not. No, it's not the first time. Yeah, it is. For Hot yeah. or Not? You've, no, I've, yeah, for Hot or Not. But you've produced the show because we didn't have a, another person. Or vice versa, I think, actually. I think I produced it. Yeah, I don't think I ever have. Um, What's the first topic? First topic, um, I'm not going to lie. These are all sent to me by Emma because I didn't have any. Um, I kind of forgot I was doing this. Um, first topic, dry rub wings. So hot. Flaming hot. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So good. Uh, ASU football. Just got Mountain West Player of the Year, Kelsey Hall. ASU football did? Or ASU softball. <laughs> excuse me. Wow. Got who? Mountain West Player of the Year, Kelsey Hall. Who's ASU softball back. back. Uh-huh. Okay, one second. Put a pin in the dry okay, rub wings. We'll be back. Let's see what we got Love here. Love that. We love that. We love some breaking news. We do love breaking news. It's about time. ASU softball back? Question mark. We love the Mountain West. They're just giving us Kelsey stuff. Hall, Boise yeah. State. Is that a sign that Boise State's coming? Yeah. Well, maybe they're not coming, and that's why she left. Mm, that's fair. Well, she dyed her hair. <laughs> Where what? Her hair is different in this uh, photo than it is the other photo. I know. Redshirt sophomore from Sacramento, California. Five seven outfielder. Yeah, extra inning softball co-player of the week in March. Two-time Mountain West player of the week. Comeback player of the year. All Mountain West second team. Hmm. Well, that's definitely it's a positive for the program. Sig- significant news. It's Absolutely definitely a positive for the program. Significant news. Back to the dry rub wings? or um, <laughs> Let me get into her. What'd she hit this year? She hit 385. That's pretty good. Yeah, I would say so. With how many home runs? 11 home runs. 
Uh, 96 AB or 96. Yeah, I was looking at how many doubles. Uh, doesn't tell me. Yeah. 12 I mean, it's definitely a strong addition. Mm -hmm. Definitely a strong addition for the program. Anytime you get somebody that has player of the year, it helps. Yeah, just a tad. Just a tad. Thank you, Brady. <laughs> Brady didn't bring her. Well, Brady, Brady alerted me. He alerted you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank absolutely. you, Brady. Uh, what happened in that TCU game? Oh, my gosh. Oral Roberts came back. Yeah, Oral Roberts went crazy in the ninth. They had a, like a three-run bomb, I think. Gummy worms. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, dry rub wings. Um, I haven't had, I don't know if I've had dry rub ring. Wait, wow. Dry rub wings. Never like any lemon pepper or anything like that. Like you've never had dry rub wings. So. Are you? I, I almost respect it. I'm trying to think of the word you respect. It? I hate dry rub. Oh, wings. you're from Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, are they like, unless it's lemon pepper, lemon yeah, pepper. That, I rock that's all I eat. Oh, okay. That's the only dry rub. I eat. What yeah, makes yeah. them better than normal wings? They're, they're not wet. Oh, then no. I don't know. I like my wings wet. Yeah, I, I generally agree with you. I, I, I prefer. Oh, my shit sauced up. I don't want. Yeah, I don't you need. You think to. of things and just want to say them sometimes. You didn't need to say that. You did not. Need <laughs> I'm to glad say you that. did, though. You didn't need to say that. <laughs> I'm glad you yeah, did. No, dry rub, not hot. Uh, In any fl sense of the Flaming word. hot. No. See, see, you didn't need to say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, the, no, no. I'm not letting you get away with this. The, the first topic was specifically dry rub wings. Yes. And I said not hot. You said a dry rub is not hot in any sense of the word. <laughs> What's the second topic, Sean? Um, let's go with like black being a favorite color. Um, is or I guess basically I'm asking is black being a color more or less? Okay, so hot or not? I what? for a while no, I mean black for a while. Black's a shade. For a while, I would have argued no. I would have argued hard against black in being in like the the realm of colors um and for a while it couldn't be a favorite color however i was conditioned to at a certain point black can be a favorite color and for me i i wear it almost every single day so i'm gonna i'm gonna say black as a color and as somebody's favorite color a hot i'm so confused what's the question what's the hot what am i saying is hot or not Black, like black being a color. Like, do you consider like if someone black were to say, like if someone were to say, my favorite color is black. Well, you know what? It's not hot. People who use technicalities, shut the hell up. It's, it, oh, it's a shade. It's a who cares? It's a shade technically. I, fuck you. I just said it's hot. Yeah, well, I'm just letting you know. I know, but that is annoying. Who cares? Black, black is a great thing to wear. There are rules to things. Black is a great thing to it. it Contrast, heavy contrast wouldn't exist without black. I feel like you're America. fighting too hard for it. What'd you just say? <laughs> you heard me. Can we stop? <laughs> Wait, can what we, is can we, it's something about race. I said let's neither would America. Let's not um, do this right now. Is so, so, <laughs> something about race. So hot and hot? Or are you just refusing yeah, to yeah, hot, hot, hot. Okay. Um, at a similar a similar vein, uh, like ors? someone's... What? He said veins. I said ores. Oh, I thought you said something else. Um, <laughs> in a similar vein, um, like someone's favorite ice cream flavor being vanilla ice cream, hot or not? Oh, you know how I feel about this. Not hot, not hot at all. Vanilla. I honestly, boring. I'm not sure how you feel about it. It's so stupid. We, J we've had this conversation with Jalen so many times. No, stop that. You, vanilla ice cream is great. Vanilla ice cream is good, but add something else to it. Because because saying it's versatile because you can add something else to it because you can't say like vanilla ice cream is my favorite because you can put chocolate chips in it no then vanilla ice cream and chocolate chips is your favorite flavor of ice cream vanilla ice cream is not hot by itself I don't think it can be someone's favorite flavor and if it is then I'm highly concerned I know it's your favorite flavor but it's highly concerning <laughs> Sean doesn't like chocolate so it doesn't matter oh yeah, yeah but I mean, there are uh, other flavors other flavors there are other flavors than just chocolate no, I know but I'm saying he doesn't like chocolate so his opinion doesn't matter. Well, it seems it's yeah, you can not like chocolate, but no, you can't see because this, okay, but th 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 this is my problem is that this is basically the same thing as last time. And uh, like, it's the same thing. Vanilla is a flavor. It's a flavor in the same way chocolate's a flavor. Yeah. So why, what's the problem with vanilla being someone's flavor, favorite it's flavor? It's a worse flavor. Uh, my favorite flavor isn't chocolate. Chocolate's the same I'm not thing. Saying, I'm not saying it, I know, it, it it's is. the same thing. If your flavor, fl favorite flavor is chocolate. Then you're then you're wrong because you don't just eat plain chocolate ice cream. You put people shit do. In it. People do. Kids do. Vanilla with rainbow kids, sprinkles. Kids is eat noted. plain vanilla ice cream, and they're stupid for it. Well, put stuff on. No, it. I, I mean, 
I know you're gonna die on that hill, but still. But what are what are your favorite two flavors of ice cream? Um, you don't the, have to combine them. Just favorite two flavors. Well, it depends. On what? Depends on like, is it a brand or is it just like a? No, different? just flavors. Um, I'm a huge cookie dough anything guy. Put cookie dough in any anything, any type of, any type of chocolate, vanilla, whatever. Fantastic. Salted caramel, unbelievable. Oh, see, I hate salted caramel. What? I feel like I'm tasting the bottom of a fucking shoe. What? Um, I pe- love salted caramel. Peanut butter, unbelievable. Peanut butter is great. Um. Yeah, like anything with like get fucked, Sean. With like chocolate, <laughs> like like a peanut butter cup ice cream is unbelievable. Yeah, peanut butter cups go crazy. The, and milkshakes are different than ice cream, by the way. Milkshakes are different than ice cream, in my personal. So opinion. you're saying vanilla milkshakes are fine? Yeah, vanilla milkshakes are fine. Yeah, that could be your favorite milkshake flavor. It's not Strawberry. my favorite. My, no, it's either a, van- a vanilla malt or a banana. Banana Ooh. milkshake. I just had a vanilla, or I just had a banana I almost just threw up. You don't like banana. That's the hot or not banana, banana milkshakes. Banana flavored anything is so bad. Oh, bananas are so good. Bananas banana are, flavored everything. Bananas are great. Yeah. I made a banana smoothie for myself this morning, but artificial flavored banana shit is disgusting. Really, I would argue it's one of the better artificially flavored things. I are see, you serious? I think That's you serious. are in the minority there for sure. Yeah, really? I've, I've heard. I've heard a lot of people really? agree with Shane. I agree with you. I like artificial banana banana flavored stuff. Laffy Love it. Love it. Oh, yeah. 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 No, I do love artificially flavored banana that is stuff. Like genuinely, and I'm not like. That is like well known as one of the worst flavors. Yeah, no, it is. Ever. It is. That's, is it really? Yeah, that's a very unpopular opinion. Um, I just, I am honestly like a big artificial fruit guy. Like, no, I Alex, like the that's what flavors. I'm talking about. That's the argument that Jalen has. No, because then all ice cream, because then vanilla, vanilla is basically just pre chocolate. Okay, can I, so <laughs> pre chocolate. My, my one thing vanilla is PC. <laughs> <laughs> my one thing on that is that like you go to Cold Stone. It's one thing to go to like an ice cream place and get ice cream, but you go to Cold Stone. The point of going to Cold Stone is mixing stuff into your ice cream. But, I would but argue. No, brother. When you go to Cold Stone, you don't just get vanilla ice cream. You get flavored ice cream well, and yeah. mix shit into it. You don't just mix vanilla into it. Well, yeah, but I'm saying if I'm going to Cold Stone every single time, I'm ordering vanilla. If I see somebody go to Cold Stone, obviously I am. But and just order vanilla. Well, but yeah, but you but and then my, mix shit in it. But yeah, you're insane. I, Why don't you just I get go vanilla? get frozen yogurt? Because I get vanilla Why don't you ice cream. Just go get blue bunny bell, whatever no, it's called. I get vanilla ice cream and I get I blue get yellow bunny. cake and blueberries mixed or strawberries mixed into it. So I get like a kind of like a strawberry shortcake your, thing going. Your your palate is that's awful. I don't know what's wrong with that. It's that like a strawberry. Like strawberry one more time. I get vanilla ice cream, French vanilla ice cream, and I mix in strawberries and yellow cake in it. So it's like strawberry shortcake ice cream. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I don't know. I'm not a big I'm not a big fruit dessert guy. Oh, I love. Oh, see, 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 yeah, yeah. That, fruit that's dessert. Through. Fruit in general just goes. Yeah, crazy. fruit does I go agree. crazy. Fruit, fruit, dessert. Just, I, fruit in any format. So Cooked outside fruit. of outside of vanilla, what is your favorite ice cream flavors? Because um, I'm not tolerating. If I'm go, if like if like I was, so I'll say this, vanilla is my favorite flavor of ice cream. But if I'm going somewhere where it's just like hard scooped ice cream, I'm never ordering vanilla. I'm always I'm probably gonna get cookies and cream. Yeah, because it's fucking boring by itself. That's fine, but it's still <laughs> your favorite flavor. It, 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 no, well, it's not. If if it's your favorite served, flavor of ice cream is. Vanilla with okay. shit in it. Well, let me say this. I'll say this. I prefer soft serve over hard serve ice cream. So, and soft serve is usually only vanilla, chocolate, or twist in most places. So, vanilla is my favorite. Vanilla soft serve is my favorite favorite ice cream. Can we live on that? I can. I mean, I'm fine with um, it. I don't like vanilla as a favorite flavor. It's crazy. It's just me though. My my favorite is uh, mint chocolate chip and strawberry. Oh, I will say this though. The best, the single best flavor of ice cream I've ever had is pumpkin cheesecake Ben and Jerry's. Crazy. Okay, but we can all get. I'm cool with everybody liking their own ice cream, except the the fucking weirdos that get birthday cake flavor. Yeah, that's too sweet. Uh, yeah, it depends on the birthday cake flavor. Yeah, there. Yeah, there, so I so Halo Top ice cream. Have you ever had it? Yeah, phenomenal, unbelievable. Yeah. Like I could eat, you can eat a pint. And it's 300 calories, and there's probably a bunch of sugar alcohol. It's gonna give me cancer when I'm 40, but it's fine. Um, I eat a ton of it. Their but birthday cake flavor, not super sweet. It's unbelievable. Yeah, but that's the whole point of Halo Top. None of their stuff is like sweet. They're pretty sweet. It's not sweet compared to like ice cream flavors. Well, I'm not a big overly sweet guy anyway. Yeah, that's why I'm generally like a cotton candy or a... Uh, oh, see, yeah, like that's uh, fucking, that's, that's too, too much. much I'm, I love a good sherbet though. I'll oh, say that. Yeah, orange sherbet. Which is crazy because... Because your energy drinks are like the sweetest things I've ever tasted. I haven't had an energy drink. I've I know, had but a sip of caffeine. In a week, wow. I know, but still, is that you were, because you were, you were sick or just those. because? A little I think bit that's why he got sick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Withdrawal. Just got a severe viral infection because no energy drink. 
Um, we spent far too much time on ice cream. We spent more time on ice cream than we did SDSU. Didn't even touch on arches. You want to quickly touch on an arch? Do you want to? McDonald's. Other than that? I mean, it's the St. Louis one, isn't it? The Arc de Triomphe. What's that called? Uh, it's the gateway to the Midwest or something, but I forget what the actual name of it is. Uh, God, the Arc de Triomphe. That gate. Is that the one in France? Yeah. Unbelievable. Can't think of any close other. that gate. <laughs> close the gate to the Midwest. <laughs> Fucking close that shit. Slam it shut. What is this oblivion? <laughs> Anybody? Huh? I said, what is this oblivion? Mm. Uh, Chris no. in the chat. Yes, the movie. Chris in the chat for real fighting words, Toji. Wait, wait, what I do? Am I talking about? Are you trying to fight me about my take on vanilla? I think Chris is on the vanilla train. Uh, well, you're gonna have to hop off the train because that train is not good. Uh, you can hop on the illegal Pete's train though. That's a solid. Solid train, and that train is serving margaritas on Mondays for just three dollars. Um, they're also they're also serving tacos every Tuesday on that train, guys. Uh, again, kick off your week with Margarita Mondays over at Illegal Pete's in just a couple days. Exclusive to Arizona locations, three dollar margs all day every Monday. Nothing brightens up that Monday mood more than soaking up the sun with a few margs. And like I said, don't forget about their Taco Tuesdays, two dollar tacos all day every Tuesday. Enjoy your favorite chicken, pork and veggie tacos for just two bucks. So swing by and start your week off the right way over at Illegal Pete's. Drink a margarita, put on a sun hat. You can get sun hats at FOCO. FOCO always has their back for Arizona sports, and they have yours too. They got the best officially licensed gear for all fandoms, and since it's baseball in the spring season, they got Aloha shirts, which you can get Aloha shirt at the Father's Day game this weekend, so go to that game. Um, but if not, you can get them at FOCO. Straw hats, pillows, bags, everything you need for the game. Um, and our set decorations are all thanks to FOCO. Foco. Um, get the best gear around by using www.foco.com and using code PHNX for all non pre sale items. Use that promo code PHNX for 10% off your order. Anything else? Uh, have a great Father's Day. Have a phenomenal Father's Day. Um, Say happy Father's Day to your dad. And we're going to be Ramona Monday because Totri is celebrating Juneteenth. Um, so my favorite holiday, mm. right? It's not your favorite holiday. No, no, it's not. My favorite holiday is Christmas. <laughs> What's your favorite holiday? Is that so wrong Sean? to pause? No, I think it's probably Christmas. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how can it not be? There's just, there's lights yeah. and things. I like Thanksgiving too, though. Love a good, love a good meal. It's crazy. Country hates Christmas, but I love Juneteenth. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you enjoyed the content, or if you didn't, give us a follow at PHNX underscore Sun Devils. You can follow me at Anthony underscore Totri. You can follow Shane at Shane Deef. Um, hopefully recovering as always, but maybe not. And we'll see you guys Monday, but have a phenomenal weekend. And tell your fathers, happy Father's Day.